everyone, it's Andrea and today I'm going to do a flip through of volume 13 of my Marilyn Monroe scrapbooks. As you can see this is a different album. I don't know where I got this one from, I've got to be honest. Um, so yeah, this is uh, number 13. There are over 20 of these and still more. I just haven't finished them all yet, so... <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm working on one at the moment. I have been asked to show you how I put these together uh, when I start a new one, which I will do. Um, I'll order a new album soon and as soon as I get the other one finished it won't be that long. I'll do it. In fact, I might even do a bit on that later, later on while I've got the table clear. So this is, like I said, this is album 13. A lot of these again are internet articles so it's quite boring. There's not a lot of photography. Um, as usual, I start with a picture of Marilyn. And then on to the article. So this first article, um, as you can see, it is an article from the internet and it is just a press release for when they first released the um, the Diamond Collection. Uh, yeah, so it's about what there was on there. It came, uh, the release date was 2001, so that's when this was from. Excuse me, I have to just get past that. Uh, this one is again Yahoo News, 75 years of Marilyn Monroe. So this is obviously about her 75th birthday. And it's just a brief overview. Here we go again. Uh, BBC News fans celebrate Monroe anniversary. So this was the 31st of May 2001, so the day before her birthday. So again, it's just all about um, the fans are celebrating it with various things. So there was a, a party at London's Mayfair Club, apparently. In America, American Music Classics will be showing the films. It was the release, obviously, of the, the Diamond Collection and so on. And it uh, goes on and there's a picture of Marilyn looks like Pauline Bailey over there. About look like some things. Uh, this one is from the Daily Mail. Again, about her 75th birthday, my friend Marilyn, this is about photographer Eve Arnold. Eve Arnold is, was, when she was alive, a member of the Magnum group of photographers. Very famous group, very famous co-op. Raise it up a little bit so you can see it better. Um, and she took photographs of Marilyn through the 1950s into the early 60s. So that's just an article about that. We're back to the internet one, so very quickly, Yahoo News, AMC recounts Marilyn's final days. So this is about the documentary, The Final Days, which is again on the Diamond Collection and features the, um, the spliced together version of something that's got to give or what footage there is of it. Uh, again, Yahoo News, Marilyn Monroe, 75 year old, again, about her 75th birthday. Uh, this one, you can't see the title of, but it is up here, it says, the 75th anniversary of Monroe lookalikes are a flop. Um, and just saying that uh, none of the ones were looked remotely like her. These were ones were lookalikes that um, a lookalike contract was held at the Hollywood Entertainment Museum. Um, so there's one from Sweden. Yeah, there's a few there. I'm just seeing if there's any names I actually recognise. Holly Bevan is the only one I recognise. She's not bad. She's pretty good. Marilyn look like so. See, so none of them actually look like her at all. It's a bit, bit far fetched. There's no photographs, so you can't judge for yourself, which is annoying. And again, on this one is uh, same like it hot. Uh, this was June third. Stars recreate the Marilyn magic. And when they say stars, we're talking B list stars. So Joe Guest was a performer, Page Three model. Page Three is um, topless models. We're in the newspapers, mostly the Sun. And then there's a, a girl named Catalina, who was a former TFI Friday star. That was a Friday evening show. This is her. Um, it's on Friday evenings, hosted by um, Chris Evans. And then we've got Sam Robson here. Now, she was uh, in a TV series called The Bill. And on the other side, you've got Alex Best, who was the wife of George Best. So none of the real, what I would consider celebrities. They are slightly known people. There's no, I mean, celebrities to me, I don't, I don't do celebrities, other than the Marilyn thing. And again, this one is Hollywood Fates, Hollywood Fates Marilyn. Um, and again, that is 75th birthday. Now on to a really lovely article. 
This was from OK, June 8th, 2001. Again, celebrating 75 years of movie icon Marilyn Monroe. Exclusive and happy picture or intimate pictures of a rare happy moment. Uh, these are pictures by Milton H. Green, these two. And it is nice to see them because we don't often see that side of Marilyn, unless you're a Marilyn fan. And again, here are lots more. There's an overview of her life, but generally the pictures are from Milton H. Green. And this was about, there was a exhibition of photographs to mark her birthday that was traveling the world. I don't know if it came to the UK, I didn't see it. Some Like It Hot Pot Chuck, stunning curry star Sally is transformed into sexy movie idol Marilyn. They all do this. How many of them they do it? Um, so she dressed up as Jean Russell, badly. Uh, Raquel Welsh, the outfit's all right. And Marilyn in the Milton Ballerina shot, again, badly. But I, I just, yeah, I don't know. And then we've got Daily Mail, just a little thing. It's like one of those eight degrees of separation, but not. National Enquirer, Marilyn slept her way to stardom as Tony Curtis, who we all know was a pathological liar when it comes to Marilyn. I mean, he was a brilliant actor. I loved him in some like hot and other films he's been in. He was very good looking. But when it came to Marilyn, he just really made up twatting rubbish. Um, and is held in, although admired by Marilyn fans as a good actor, he was held in quite contempt with regards to the way he talked about her after she died and the things he claimed about her towards the end of his own life. Um, so, yeah, anyway. I have an advert then from the National Enquirer for the Diamond Collection, which I think was volume one, I think. The American edition, very nice. Again, here we have... Somebody else dressing up as Marilyn. So this is Jane Danson, who I think she was in um, Coronation Street, but she was in something called A&E, which I never watched, so and I don't watch Coronation Street either. Dressing up as Marilyn, she's a little bit better than the last one, but still not brilliant. Um, Jump for Blondes, negligee shot, and of course the itch one shame that the wig that they've put on her is terrible it's just your, your cheap drugstore wig it's not a not a decent one by the look of it if, if she did she'd look a lot better with a decent wig and if somebody had done her eyebrows properly she doesn't look like marilyn but it's a, one of the better attempts and that's saying something then we have the times magazine saturday the 25th july 2001 tantrums and tiaras i swear this is just going Putting it up as high as I can so you can see as much of it as possible. There we are. Uh, the uncut story of Some Like It Hot. So this is when the American Film Institute voted the greatest comedy ever filmed. So this is, uh, that's about that. And there's uh, Jack comments from Jack Lemmon, Billy Wilder and Tony Curtis on these two pages as long, as well as some lovely photographs. Which I always think is, is very nice to see the photos. Okay, so it's a nice long article that one and then the next one again is the Sunday Times, Sunday Times magazine July 22nd 2001 just so you know I buy, bought more than one copy of this so I have a complete copy upstairs in my Marilyn magazine archive um, which I'm considering selling I've been debating it for a long time or selling some of it um, and this is this is um, again Milton Green photos so and this is what's known as the black sit-in. I love anything by Milton Green. His photographs are stunning. And there's his son Josh, who now manages the estate and is digitally restoring everything. So and it's quite a big article, lots of pictures. So again, another one of the the black sit-in, which was, they said were test shots for bus stop, so. So this was taken on the Fox Bat lot and they just went and raided the costume department for these ones and used it. And again, the black sit-in, so. And it's a, a long, long story about, article about Milton Green and their relationship and company. Oh, I can't speak. Company. 
Again, we're back to some internet articles. This is from dailynews.com. Becoming Marilyn requires two uh, hours at the makeup table. And again, this is about to look like Holly Bevan. This was August, August the 2nd, 2001. And it just tells, takes her two hours to dress for her. There's not a really good picture of her on here, though I'm sure there are. If you just Google Holly Bevan, you'll be able to see what she actually looks like. So it's just all about Holly Bevan and her being a lookalike. Then we've got Daily Mirror, uh, Marilyn Exposed, last photos of sexy star for sale on the web. These are photos by the photographer Bert Stern. Um, they're nothing special, we've all seen them before if you're a Marilyn fan. If, you've, if you're a Marilyn fan and you got the complete last sitting by Bert Stern, these pictures are all in there, so that, you know. It says rare 10 colour photographs. But well, they probably are rare because they were probably original prints, which are always worth a lot of money. Next page says flop stars. I guess they mirror people who were told that they would never make it. So Monroe, well, she was told she was ugly, and Alvis that he was a useless singer. So what did they know, eh? This one is the Times um, Play Magazine Vulture. It's just a review about some like it hot or a little overview. The Mail Weekend. Living had a Marilyn Monroe weekend. So it was just a few of the films. I tend not to watch the films when they're on TV because I've got them all on either VHS or DVD. I say VHS because some of the early ones aren't out on DVD and I have got every single film she made, so. This is another internet article which just, um, again, Monroe admirers gather to gush. This is about the anniversary of her death. Um, some wore Marilyn t-shirts, others wore ties adorned with her image and a few even came Sunday looking like the late Hollywood legend who died 39 years ago. Yeah, gosh. 2001. That's a long time ago now. Greg Schreiner, who is obviously the one who uh, runs Marilyn Remembered. Various of the people, most of whom, all, whom that were there have all died now when I look at them. The names of the people who knew her. And then on here we've got the end of that article. Then there's uh, Amateur Photographer from uh, 18th of August. Uh, amateur Photographer is a British magazine on amateur photography. And it just says sepia toned Marilyn photo fetches £3,000. And then this one is Jeans for Jeans Day with, um, I think that was one of the girls we actually saw dressed up before. This is just a tiny little sun thing. I don't know why it's on its own. Oh, it's the last page. The next article must have been too big, so. And I will be putting a picture on there, but I just haven't got around to it. I might do that today. So that is volume 13 of the Marilyn Monroe scrapbooks. Um, like I said, there's at least another 10 to go, I think. At least. I'm not even sure what numbers I'm on now. There's that many of them, but I will have a look and I will uh, let you know uh, when I get to them and I will keep doing these because uh, I know people for some reason are enjoying them. So that's that one. If you have enjoyed this, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like and share and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.